Hey everybody, it is Scott the Steamroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the one and only Steamroller free play of the day. As always, if you're having some fun digging what we're doing, well, we'd appreciate it if you take a minute to smash that thumbs up. A little Christmas smash there, boys. Oh, beautiful. Thank you very much. Appreciate the effort. Of course, every day we do our live show, 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central. My pal Scott Reichel and I, as we uh, right here on the YouTubes, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook Live, whatever you choose to consume live media, we are there. So please be sure to check us out. The little show we call Heading Back to the Window with Scott and Scott. So, uh, we want to know what you're playing, of course. Give everybody a little Christmas present there, if you'd be so kind. Put your plays in the comment section. You get them right, hey, we'll give you the shout out. You get enough of them right, and you will be the capper of the day. Tremendous cappers community here in the comment section. Uh, love to see those picks. Love to hear from you guys live. We're having a lot of fun doing our show every day. Hope you get a chance to stop by. All right, so we'll take a look at uh, yesterday's action. We did... Uh, we took a little gamble on the Washington quarterback situation. We were able to get six and a half uh, before this game, before the announcements were made about uh, about Heineke and uh, Kyle Allen, and it worked out well for us as this game skyrocketed up to 10. It's a very important number because uh, that was a push, but anything under that was good as the Eagles got it home. Uh, on the premium side, we did go a one and one as we had the... Uh, uh, Wyoming, Kent State, over 59 and a half, 45 points in each half. Uh, they don't get a lot easier than that, kids. Sometimes they're as easy as you think they're going to be, and that one was. I'll tell you one that wasn't as easy as we thought we were going to be. Uh, T-Train, uh, hats off to you, buddy, because it's uh, the Ooey Pooey Undernights come to an end. Uh, they did end up going 132 against Moorhead State. They did their job. They put up 55, but uh, Moorhead State was uh, able to break through for uh, – 80 plus, you know, right at 80. I think it landed at 135. So a little better effort than usual by the Jags. They're usually something there around 48, 50. But the real problem was they just had no defense against the Moorhead State. So uh, one and one, we go on the premium side. And uh, another moment of silence as our second bet, the farm streak has come to an end. We did have the, uh, we did have the under in, uh, in the Washington-Philadelphia game, had a shot at it. We probably probably shouldn't have, um, but we did have a shot late. Pass interference call changed the complexion of everything. Gave him three, 37 free yards on, uh, I believe, third down, and that was a, that was an absolute backbreaker there. So we go over the total. Got to start a new farm streak tomorrow. But two and two, we go on the day. Let's see if we can get that a little higher today, shall we? Uh, we're going to take a look at the bowl game, guys. We're going to play... A little bit of a parlay with the Missouri Tigers and the Army Black Knights. We're going to play a money line parlay with Army and over 54 and a half. Pays plus 172. Uh, this is just a horrific matchup for Mizzou. Uh, you've heard us talk a lot. If you've checked out my videos, if you've checked out me and Scott doing our college show, we talk a lot about how bad this rush defense is. It is awful. Um, they've only had two games where they haven't given up at least 165 yards. Uh, they gave up a, a just a mind-blowing 458 on the ground to Tennessee. Uh, they should have known things weren't going to go well in the second game of the season. They gave up 294 on the ground to Southeast Missouri State. Not a good look right there. FCS team are they. Uh, they're going to be missing some serious uh, contributors here tonight. Uh, Tyler Beatty, uh, very good running back, probably one of the best running backs you've probably never heard of. 6.1 yards per carry, 1,600 yards. He has decided Mizzou has nothing more to offer him. He has declared for the draft and will be skipping this one. Also going to be missing, missing their leading tackle or uh, quarterback Martez Manuel. Uh, and Nico Hea, uh, first string tight end, he will also be missing this one. Missing a couple of uh, depth pieces are on the offensive line and defensive line as well. So not good. Not good at all. Of course, Army, you know what they're going to do. They're going to, they're going to march the ball down the field. Uh, just... Only, only Air Force ran for more yards than Army did this year. They are a, uh, a team that, under the best of circumstances, are very difficult to guard. Uh, when you have a young team like Mizzou that just doesn't play good rush defense, it's going to be a long day for the Tigers, guys. I think I think Army puts up 35-plus in this one. I think Mizzou will uh, ultimately do their garbage time part and put up somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 21, and I think we get over that total. So let's play a little... Uh, Let's play a little money line parlay. Let's play Army straight up, and we'll play over 54 and a half plus 172. 
Let's go out. Uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's take it home, guys. What do you say? At the end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, guys, you know how I did yesterday. I got juiced. Let's see how y'all did. Uh, Benito Quevedo, he goes one and one. He got juiced. Thomas Bowe going one and one, juiced. Stephen the Godfather Godon, not juiced. One and zero plus five hundred. He had Philly minus the seven. Ashram Mendez one and zero plus five hundred. He had Philly on the money line. R Rivera nine one 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 and one. He got juiced. Chaco TV three and zero plus three hundred. The Carrot going one zero and one plus one hundred. Buddy's House of Food serving up winners today three and zero plus three hundred. Sean O'Reilly, uh, the play that I like most on the board today, 1-0 plus 500, Kent State, Wyoming, over. Zewa Carter, 1-0 plus 500, he had the Suns, minus 6.5. Eula Foster, going 3-2, plus 80. Max Garcia, prop master, 1-0 plus 500. Cooper Cup, over 1-101.5 one and one and yards. He's in money right there, Max. Scott Nowak goes 1-1, one and, one and he got juiced. Uh, Legion of Picks, 1-0 plus 500, hit a two-team teaser. Ninja 13 <laughs> played the prop we all wanted to play. Stafford over interceptions, over a half. That would hit 1 0 plus 500 as the uh, Stafford interception prop paid off. But your capper of the day, taking a little NBA play on the money line. God bless you. It's Brandon Zerfus catching the heat at plus 120. He goes 1 0 plus 600. Congratulations, Brandon, because you, my friend, all by your lonesome, are the capper of the day. Well done to you. Well done to the rest of you. A lot of profit out there. Nice to be done, guys. Uh, some some special people in your life are going to be getting very nice Christmas gifts. Let's see if we can keep it up and uh, upgrade those gifts even a little bit more. All right? You guys have a great day. Good luck on all your plays. Don't forget to check out me and Scott. If you got a little time on your hands this afternoon, we'll be doing the show today. Then we'll be doing tomorrow's show as well. And then we're taking a couple days off. So make sure you check that out. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time as we all attempt to head back to the window. Bye-bye.